that's the thing the league is most passionate about. You know, for head trauma, for these kind of things, to clean it up, it's just going to have an effect throughout all of football. And that's talking from 18 to 3.5 million kids. I think that's a very important factor there. We're trying to uh, affect everybody who plays football all the way down to the start of football, all the way through college football, and now obviously the professional ranks. But I think one of the things that the commissioner was most disappointed about, and he said, we're disappointed. That's the kind of word you use with your kids, and it breaks their hearts when you're disappointed with them. And that's where the commissioner is right now. I'm disappointed with my head coach, Sean Payton. It's organizational arrogance. When you're told by, by the commissioner of the NFL and by the National Football League, every, every team in this league, God bless them. The National Football League said, if these things are going on, the U.S. have to set up a program about the program to stop it right now. So they don't do it anymore. Right. This, you know, I mean, I don't know, lots of viewers, a lot of fans don't realize that they, every team has meaning about these rules and policy. Because I remember my rookie year, they were so harsh about gambling. You know, and I was like, well, I don't gamble, it's no big deal. And then they mentioned, you know, Paul Horning was suspended. Now he's a parent. Let's care ourselves in that. I was like, what? What? For gambling? I'm like, well, this is serious business here. That's what I'm talking about, this ripple effect. You know, maybe 15 years from now, 20 years from now, you know, but I may not remember Sean Payton or the Saints, but, but this message in every line, though, is what? Are you talking about that message? You have charts.